Ansel Adams said the most important part of the camera is the 12 inches behind it. I disagree. It's the 12 trillion things in front of it. I bought the Sony A6000 and the two kit lenses that come with it, knowing the camera had a great reputation and the lenses were considered mediocre. I rarely listen to opinions on camera equipment, but instead rely on direct experience, either by purchasing or borrowing. I went to Barnegat Light State Park off the coast of New Jersey to test the camera and lenses. That's why I'm making this video, for the direct experience of using the camera and two lenses. Some photographers say if you want good portraits, photograph pretty people. I'd add that if you want good nature photos, go to pretty places. The crop factor on the telephoto zoom makes it a 315. I turned on the clear image zoom to make it a 630, quite a length to catch this sailboat. Next up, a tern was hunting over the bay, cart cartwheeling around and looking for fish below. I caught these images with the zoom lens. Not too bad. Finally, the 630 got a close-up like this. Nietzsche said that life is most pleasurable and offers up its greatest rewards when you live dangerously. That's true with photography. I had to take a little bit of a hike out to the beach now, looking for photographic subjects. I wanted to see if it would be worth it and if the Sony could handle it. Barnica Light State Park has a long rock jetty that goes out about a mile. You can walk on this and see different forms of wildlife, people, and scenes. Part of it is restricted through the summer months for the sake of the bird life there. But there's a path through the restricted area you can walk if you don't want to take the rock jetty. I did decide to live dangerously and walk on the rocks. I had the A6000 set on manual at 1 500th of a second at F11. I used ISO Auto to handle any situation. I walked carefully. I didn't want to end up down there. Then to get to the beach, I had to climb down these rocks. With the big telephoto still on the camera, I could shoot scenes like this. Or I could shoot a scene like this. The gulls were pretty much dominating the beach. Even a photo of the lighthouse was possible. I looked down at my feet and there were plenty of things to photograph. With the clear image zoom set at 630, I could get close up to all the remains on the beach, the shells, the seaweed, everything. And then the star of the show showed up. This is a piping plover. That's why you have to walk on the rock jetty. They nest in the sandy area, in the dunes. So that's why you can't walk in there. It was worth it. Some gulls were fighting over the carcass of a fish. They left their mark everywhere. They had eaten this crab. They had also eaten this one. They looked for these mussels. They probably ate those too. But then I could shoot a scene like this one and it was time to go. It was a long walk back to the lighthouse on the rock jetty, but I was satisfied. The long zoom on the A6000 had given me some close-ups that were pretty sharp and pretty clear. 
I had photographed the beach, but there was still something else left to do. Once back at the lighthouse, I put on the 16 to 50 zoom. I wanted to take some landscapes to test that out to see how that worked for me. I headed up the sandy path into the wilderness area. I was looking for some dunes. I knew they were up here someplace, and I was determined to find them and test out the small lens. After wandering around for a while, the A6000 and the small 16-50 to lens gave me these photos of the dunes. I gotten what I wanted when I came here, and it was time to leave. So I headed out for the parking lot, pretty much satisfied with how things had gone. The test had been a success of the A6000.